I guess you're stunned, are you? So let's go set it down by the flower and make off. Make on, my man, make on. Might as well pick that up. So, what's next? Oh, it's a room. <laughs> What'd you think it was gonna be? Not a room? Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do about ugh, that. Okay. Nothing. It's nothing in the game that I was talking about just now. I was brainstorming. Sorry. Okay, you can use the Deku Leaf now to actually push yourself um, by generating gusts, which in turn give you... Uh, how do I explain that? You know in physics when they say for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction? Well, when you blow away air with that leaf, there's actually force that's generated against you by the air you push, so it pushes you back the other way. Now, Link normally braces himself, so there is no discernible reaction that you can see, but when he's standing on a movable platform, obviously that force does affect the platform that he's standing on, because the platform can't brace itself like he can. Especially hanging on those slippery-ass ropes like that. Now, these P-hats, you can't really do anything about them until later, so... I'm not gonna mess with it, but there is a flower over here. A flower fuck. And there's another one. Try to, like, when you jump into these things, be facing in generally the same direction that you're going to shoot. Oh, look at there. Well, let's see. Doesn't look like we can do much about that right now, so let's blow the thing here and get ourselves a ride. There's almost always a ride, so no need to worry about that. Now. Yeah. Push, push, push. Push some more. Alright, well, it looks like we got ourselves a, a nut. Lovely. So, what you're gonna have to do is take this over here, set it down gently, and... No, don't do that! Oh, wait, okay, okay, do do that. You don't want to go blowing the nut all over the place, because it's gonna fall off the platform! So, grab the nut, take it back to the platform, take it back to the platform, I said and set it down somewhere where it's not going to be affected by your leaf blowage. And then, just blow yourself back over to the other side. And then grab the nut and get ready to jump off here. And use it on the flower. Easy enough. Yeah, I had a little trouble there because I was, uh... Okay, we have a nut and it's sitting in the middle of a bunch of vines coming out of the ground. How do you get rid of this? Well, you blow it out. No problem. These are indestructible right here. You won't be able to ever do anything about those. At least not as far as I know. So back away so he opens up. And let him have it. Sheesh. This is almost too easy. Oh my, what's going on here? Okay, we got some weird, scary, glovey, hand-looking platforms here. That are moving all over the place. We have swispers. Thick ones. And... What else? Grass up the wazoo. Hmm, so how do we get around in here? Well, I guess we better take a look. No, we don't need to play the... or the... Bleh, 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 the thing. Let me just cut some grass here, try to look busy till I figure this out. Apparently, there's a thing going on. How... why is it sometimes... okay, here we go. That's what I'm trying to do, is trying to get the first person view so I can look around. But sometimes... oh, duh, that's right. They always get me with those, I don't know why. Why do I still have the Wind Waker even equipped? Usually I always go through the whole dungeon with this equipped. Here we go. Oops. Oh, stop being in such a rush. So anyway, swing right across here and don't swing too far. Now we get to jump on the silly hand platforms. Which, these things look really silly. I don't know what it is. But, they're cool, but they're still silly. You can go in there and get rupees if you want, but there's really no point. There's a locked door. Hmm. Well, it looks like we need to take the nut, go across the middle platform to bring it to where we need to take it. So, let's see. Oh, man, can they make this any easier? My god. I just farted. Okay. Yeah, you really wanted to hear that. So, have we got our compass yet? Okay, you can jump down there. There's uh, monsters that grab onto you like this. Best way to get rid of them is a spin attack. And there's a treasure chest down there with 10 rupees in it. I should probably grab it just for completeness sake. Then we have this room here where the Swispers are going to pop up in front of you if you try to go too far in a direction that they don't want you to go. So 
So you kind of got to finagle your way around here. Find the proper way through the... Oops, the floors. And, uh, just take your time. Unless you already know the path, which I slightly do, but not really. And up here, there's a blockage. And a flower. Well, we can actually use this flower. And if we're facing in the right direction, we can launch ourselves over... Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Let me... Check that out again. Ugh, I'm trying to remember exactly what I was... Yeah, you can actually get supplies, like, up here. It's nothing important, but... I think it's just regular old stuff. So that one's indestructible there. That's the door I just came in. But that one has a bomb flower next to it. So, let's check this out. You. Oops. Ah, you're supposed to use R, silly. Why am I so slow? Okay. Try it again. Use R, not A. We're not throwing the bombs here. Okay, so eventually it's going to launch another one. And if you're crafty enough, you can actually throw it over there to blow the other one up. My god says to use the leaf to blow the bomb over there, but I much prefer throwing it. What have we got here? This must be good. This must be the compass. The compass! Yeah. The compass. I don't know. I think compass is technically the uh, correct term, but, but I don't care about being correct any more than I care about being stupid. Or whatever. I don't, I don't even know what I just said there. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, quit coming up in front of me now. You guys are getting on my damn nerves. Usually it's just a back and forth pattern is all you gotta do. Yeah, see? Not too much of an issue. Let's see what we got in here. We got a small key! Cool! Yeah, when I was on my practice file, I was like, well, that's gotta be something that's, like, hidden, not really required. Turns out it is required. You do actually have to figure that out to throw the bomb over there. Not that that's that hard of a puzzle, but still. So we're just going to glide on back so we don't have to deal with the thick whispers. I half expected to see a Jinjo up there at the top of the doorway. Oh, crap. Not again. There we go. Well, let's get down there and see. Yeah, see, these, there's a bunch of these guys. They'll come up and gang up on you. They won't hurt you, but they'll slow you down. So, 10 rupees. Yep. Oh, you stop that. Any more of you guys? Holy crap, not you and those at the same time. Good grief. Okay, fine, I'm out of here. I got my key, that's all I wanted. Actually, there might be something more over here. Let me check. Yeah, it does go up from here. Okay, you know what? There's actually, I think it's a teleporter's up there. And you probably want to activate that. This dungeon is actually kind of a pain in the ass. Just getting all the treasures seemed to take forever. I don't know why. Yeah, this is it. Okay, use the leaf and blow this out of the way. Activate a warp point. So now from the beginning of the dungeon, you can actually warp back here again. Once you have certain items, we can just take the leaf now. So we don't need to mess with those platforms. Huh! Oh, shoot! Alright, so back over here again. And we open the door. Open sesame. Oh, oh man. We got some, uh, what looks like poison water and pea hats again. Wasn't well, I just in this room? Well, it seems like it. You can actually blow the pea hats away with the leaf if you want. Just to get them out of your way. But, because of how long it takes to actually do it, you see. <laughs> there's actually a bit of a... And you know, sometimes it doesn't even work. Because he had to have been, like, right there. Oh, thank God he didn't stop me from jumping across. Ooh, it's a red flower. You can tell if they're going to be uh, hostile, because they'll be red before you get to them. This guy will poop out a bunch of idiotic things. Yeah. If you're trying to do the spin attack and you can't get it to work, it might be because you're pressing the sword button too fast, so... Just concentrate more on the spinning than the pushing the sword button, because that's easy. Alright, that one's not hostile, so I guess we're pretty much done. Except for what else we need to do, which is... Oh, this is that room! Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Yes, indeed. More pea hats, huh? And another flower. Looks like we can get to the next floor from here. Crap! Dude, get away from me and stop making that music play, god. 
there. Okay, we got two of them over here. Well, what are we going to do about that? Well, can't do much besides go to the next room, which is usually just about as good of a answer as anything. Uh-oh. This is not good. Whatever shall we do?